Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's Olsen's Panthers going up against Fleener's Colts. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sins for this Week 8 matchup. Browns the deep back for the opening kick. The top team in the AFC South has the football on the tee. Getting set now to kick it away and get this game started. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Benjamin got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. Benjamin's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Davis is there to make the tackle. My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two or three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. Here's the first snap after the big play. Slashes to the left side. And Lowry's going to make the tackle. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Well, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense got to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Third down on the way. Let's go. Out of the shotgun. And incomplete. What a hit that time. The Panthers go with the pass that time on third and short. The defense was ready, and they stopped the pass. Now we have a fourth down situation. It converts on the three. And the Panthers put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work when you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. The Panthers take it from the 33. Jonathan Stewart with the football. Stewart's brought down after picking up six on this play. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on Let's the go. defensive side. The Panthers have it at the 39. And it's caught by Stewart. <laughs> Running backs are such a big part of the pass game now in the NFL. Look at this play, able to take a short catch and get a long gain out of it. Nice job by the running back. Here's the handoff. He's tackled right at the 36. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short gain. Second down and six. Pottery has got it. First down. That's his first reception today. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really, I thought, came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. Trying to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties, and you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time, the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. 
Well, everybody talks about the pass in the NFL. When it's third and short, you got to man up and be tough and strong. Nice job that time by the offensive line. They let the running back get in there and pick up the first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Second down now. The Colts with two extra defensive backs in the dime. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And that's Butler who almost had the interception. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. Good coverage by Butler that time as the pass goes incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. The Panthers are getting their offense geared up here. It's going to be interesting to see, Phil, how they react because I know there was a letdown the last time they had it. They kept the ball for a long time. They picked up a whole ton of yardage but ended up with only a field goal. So let's see how they'll react now. Jim, I think you're right. I think they were disappointed in the fact that they executed so many plays and ended up with a field goal. Let's see if they can come out and look for something a little more dynamic but they don't have to have those long drives. Look for big plays instead. Into the open. What a run by Stewart. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Panthers from the 27. Launching it deep. Has it. Touchdown. offense preparing to get this drive underway their last possession ended in a touchdown Phil let's see if they can do it again very well done love what I saw out there on the offense the last time they mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence you can see the speed of the football team and try to duplicate what they just did let's go. first and ten Olsen's got it on a pass that had some heat. Mark him down for another reception. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Second and one. And the catch is made by a Jericho Contrary. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories. And, and doing it right is what... What this offensive player did that time, had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Ball was out. That's Cole cool making the stop. Before we go any further, they're going to take another look at the last play. So now they're going to take a look at whether the knee was down before the ball came out. Well, when we look at this, let's look when the knee hits the ground. And as we look at it, when the knee hits the ground, does he still have total control of the football? If you deem him to have total control, then it is not a fumble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, it was called one way on the field, but now inside of two minutes, it was a booth review, and the call is overturned. I think if you left it up to the coaches, they'd like the, the booth to review them all, Jim, because put all the pressure on the officials in the NFL. That's what it's there for, to overturn bad calls on the field. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post, but a good route that time by the receiver making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. The grab is made by Kelvin Benjamin. That's reception number four for him. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. 
Second and goal. As Olsen holes is all over that offense and brings him down. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with a pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Handoff. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. The Panthers come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Second and ten coming up. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Stewart's got it on the handoff. The Panthers have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Stewart's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. But when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. You got to be big, strong, you got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackle. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. There is nothing like having a great tight end on your offense now. There's so many things you can do with them. Remember, they're in the middle of the field. They can go down the middle. They can go outside. They can go short. They can go across. They can go out. Tough to cover the tight ends in this league now. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second and ten. A night Panthers in for the score. Benjamin, second touchdown of the game. The Panthers on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The Panthers with an empty backfield look here. Up the gut here. Taken down at the 45. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Jonathan Stewart with the catch. There is a flag out. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous ass. Touchdown, Carolina Panthers. A 20th touchdown pass of the year. offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. I mean, just look at them. They've got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence in talent. When you put those things together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them march down there again. The Panthers lead, and you look at their rushing numbers, and that's a big reason why. It's a huge step up from what they've been doing the rest of the year. Yeah, listen, it's hard to run the football ball consistently in the NFL you have to have an aggressive tough offensive line as I always say sooner or later you got a man up and punch the other team in the nose and they are doing that here today second down and five they'll go ground Buffers 
there to take him down. Here they come to the line at the 23. Two minutes to go in the second half. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. The Panthers step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. Olsen's going to pull in the bullet pass. That's an awesome job by the offense, picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. And the, well, I'll tell you, it's getting ugly out here. That could be construed as running up the score, Phil. The Panthers' offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, and you came through and got it done and enjoyed the moment. Second and six. Jonathan Stewart with the football. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Well, that's just the right call to make. In this situation, just run the football. Don't try to be some genius who catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game Let's over go. with. The Panthers nap it at the 31. Running right through the trenches. Brought down by Trent Cole. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.